the lord uh would have us take this topic um today navigating the waiting seasons because every life every destiny there is always that waiting season for every promise of god there is always that waiting season jesus was explaining the parable of the sower to his disciples and he told them in luke chapter 8 verse 11 he said now the parable is the the seed is the word of god now the parable is that um, there was a farmer that went out to sow and he cast forth seed some fell by the wayside some fell uh, upon the rocks some fell among thorns and some fell on good soil so jesus was expounding on the on the parable um but the first implication of the parable is that there are different hearts there are different grounds you know that the word of god can fall into and the type of heart that the word of god falls into determines the productivity thereof so um jesus began to tell them that the seed is the word of god so the word of god is the seed that god plants in our lives the word of god is the promise that god sows in our lives and the nature or texture uh, of our hearts determines the kind of harvest that we come for so uh, you know every heart must uh, labor every person must labor to uh, have a heart that is the good soil to have the heart that is the good soil and jesus explaining what the good soil represents in verse 15 he says that but the ones that fell on the good ground are those who having heard the word with the noble and good hearts keep it and bear fruit with patience now jesus was saying that this kind of heart they are the ones that will produce but you may think that once the seed of the word of God is cast into the heart, that the, 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 the fruit will just come forth in no time. But most of the times, the, it takes time for the seed to, you know, to germinate, to bud, to uh, bring forth the blade and then the corn and, and all of that. So there is a time gap between the casting of the seed and the bringing of the fruit. There is always that time gap. There is always that interval. There, there is always that in between and sometimes we don't know how to handle the in-betweens of our lives when you know between the promise and the fulfillment that gap between the promise it is the waiting season where you are waiting for the manifestation of the fruit so jesus said that this ones that the bear fruits with patience he was bringing to the disciples the understanding that they need patience in order to uh, to see the manifestation of the seed in order to see the fruitfulness of the seed that means that if the good even though the the soil or the ground may be good if there is no patience that soil will not still see the fruitfulness of the seed do you get that so even though it's not enough to have the good ground the good ground must you know have the capacity to be patient to patiently wait for the manifestation of the fruit thereof you know the 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 um uh, uh the children of israel they bring us an example the scripture says that god had given his word that this once is going to deliver them take them out of the out of bondage out of egypt and bring them into the promised land it was the mind of god it was the heart of god that that generation of israelite that generation of israel israelite are going to be the ones that will move out of egypt into the promised land so the the promise of god was for that particular generation but the scripture says that they perished in the wilderness so between the time of the promise and the manifestation of the promise they perished so they did not enter the fulfillment of the promise they did not enter they did not handle the, the fruit of the seed that god has sown in their lives they, they did not handle the, the, the fruit of the, of the promise of God in their lives. The scripture said that all of them perished except for um, Caleb and Joshua, right? So, so God had to raise another generation. It was that generation that now entered the land of promise. 
so the the writer of the book of hebrews begins to bring us a counsel he said follow them follow them follow them who through faith in hebrews chapter 6 and verse 12 it says follow them that ye be not slothful but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promise that means that you you stand a risk of not inheriting inheriting the promise if you if you don't know how to navigate the waiting season if you don't know how to stand you know in the in-betweens in the in-betweens of life if you don't know how to handle the in-betweens of life you stand a risk of not inheriting the promise you stand the risk of the the promise not being made manifest in your life so god came to moses and gave him an instruction and says build the tabernacle and you know moses began to build and there was a time gap between the 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 promise because the, the 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 mind of god was that moses would build the tabernacle and that his glory will fill the tabernacle so the glory of god the manifestation of the glory of god was the fulfillment of the promise of god so in the building of the building of the tabernacle took a whole lot of time i don't know for how long but you know reading the book of of, of, of um, exodus you will see the number of chapters that went in before moses completed the work the scripture says that when Moses had finished building according to pattern, that the glory of the God of the Lord filled the tabernacle. So there was a time gap between the promise of God and the fulfillment of that promise. But Moses was able to stay and keep building according to pattern. It means that in the waiting season, you must make sure that your life is still in, in pattern, that your life is still in step with the Holy Ghost, that your, you are still in line, that you are still walking in step with the Holy Ghost. That is how you will enter the fulfillment of the promise. That is how you'll be able to handle the promise, the manifestation of the promise thereof. So if in the waiting season you are not in step with the Holy Ghost, you will not handle the 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 um you will not inherit the promise. You will not be able to see the fulfillment of the promise. So what God wants to bring to your heart this morning is 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 the that that ability to stay in faith that ability to stay in patience until the manifestation of the word of god so i don't know the promise that god has given you i don't know for how long that you have been in that in between season i don't know for how long that you have been in between in, 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 in you know waiting for the manifestation of the promise of god god is telling you the time is coming that the promise will see fulfillment in your life so handle the waiting season you know in in in, in tandem with with the, with the holy spirit handle it with you know with 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 all you've got maintain your pattern maintain the pattern with me and you will see the fulfillment of the promise every promise of god there is always a time gap so uh, don't lose heart because one of the one of the challenges with the waiting season is that you will begin to feel as though the the seed is not working you begin to feel as though the seed is not effective so you the, the seed has been planted in your heart and you know you received it with joy because there is always that joy that comes when the promise of god is spoken to your heart so you have that joy you have that that energy at the beginning of the promise you know when when moses came to um it went to egypt and and announced to them oh the lord has come to deliver they were rejoicing they rejoiced so the promise always comes with their rejoicing and when god speaks a promise to you he speaks as though it is already done because in his realm it is done but in time it needs manifestation so the israelites rejoiced <laughs> there is always a rejoicing at the promise but what happens when you enter the in-between season when you enter the waiting room and you are waiting for the manifestation of that promise in time so every prophetic word that god has given you he said don't deal in his realm but in time it needs to be made manifest and that manifestation may take a season 
and God is saying this morning we are going to pray because we need certain elements to be able to survive as it were to survive the waiting season to be able to navigate the waiting season you need certain elements in your life so we are going to be praying and saying lord number one is that you need strength he said when the son of man comes he said would he find faith upon the earth jesus was, was speaking about perseverance and he told them when the son of man comes will he find faith upon the earth so you need strength to to remain in faith when you are in the in-betweens in the in-between seasons you need strength you need strength your faith needs to be strengthened you need to be strengthened in your inner man if not you are going to get weakened because there is there is there, there, there is always the the, the the tendency to lose hope when what you have been expecting for years have not been made manifest so there is that tendency to slack there is that tendency to just ah now let me let me kukuma forget this thing if it happens it happens so you step out of active faith and you just enter passive waiting but this morning can you pray and say lord strengthen my heart i don't know how weakened your heart may have been over certain promises over certain word that god has spoken to you over certain things that you are trusting god for you are believing god for can you say lord strengthen my heart strengthen my heart oh spirit of grace strengthen grant me strength in my inner man go ahead and pray that the holy ghost would grant you strength in the inner man the holy ghost would would, would grant you strength in the inner man that you may be endued with strength oh shati veneta da yoku bele faradia suze veletena retenetos yetene kabaravia zosietetea retelitons Lord, that you may endure us with strength in the inner man by the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. According to the riches of your glory in Christ Jesus, Lord, endure us, endure us, obey souls of Elatania, retegetele paraveneta, the strength that to remain in faith, that when you come upon the earth, that when you come to hand over the promise, that when you come for the manifestation of the promise we will be in faith we will be standing in faith Oh, follow them who through faith, who through faith and patience obtain the promise. For the promise is for an appointed time. The vision is for an appointed time. Ah, though we tarry, yet it will be made manifest. The vision, that vision, that promise is for an appointed time. Oh, the vision Sean will speak in your life. Um, the promise will speak in your life. Uh, the word of God will be made manifest in your life. Ah, uh, uh, but stay, uh, stay upon the promise. Uh, stay upon the word. Uh, Lord, we receive the strength of God to tabernacle with you. Uh, no matter how long it, it takes, uh, we will wait. Uh, we have the strength uh, to wanko upon you. Uh, we have the strength uh, to wanko upon you uh, to the man manifestation of your word uh, to the manifestation of your promise uh, uh, we do not cast away our confidence, O God. We are strengthened to stay in faith in the name of Jesus. 
the next component we are going to pray for is our expectation is that the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut off shall not be cut off shall not be cut off so there is the posture of the righteous there is the posture of the believer if you are trusting god the posture you take is that if it has not been made manifest then it is not the end he said for surely there is an end surely there is an end and the expectation the hope the anticipation of the of the righteous shall not be cut short so if the anticipation of the expectation of the righteous has not been made manifest then the end has not come so for that thing you are trusting god for it is not yet the end until you handle the promise he said that which we have seen which we have looked upon which we have beheld concerning the word of god that we have handled so there must be the handling of the word of god if you have not handled it then it is not the end so there is need to stay in in in, in hope to stay in expectation sometimes when we talk about hope it, it seems as though we are talking uh, about a natural thing there is the natural hope there is the supernatural hope uh, the scripture says that abraham he, 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 he said uh uh uh, uh that um beside hope yet he hoped uh, so there is the natural hope there is the supernatural hope that is you know better by the word of god so your expectation is not natural your expectation is a supernatural entity so can you say lord keep me in expectation uh, there is an element of uh, of expectancy that should be in your heart uh, so you are constantly expecting them uh, you are waiting uh, 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 at the uh, uh, at the rising of the sun each day you anticipate for the promise um, the rising of the sun the next day you anticipate for the promise um, your hope is alive your hope is present in the name of jesus go ahead and say oh lord rekindle my hope any dead expectation any expectation that have died in my life lord rekindle my expectations rekindle my hope in the name of jesus i am sotanima i will not give up upon you oh god i will not give up on the promise oh god i will stay in hope i will stay in hope I will stay in hope. Resada baliatan. Retegete negabalata. Resali veletea. Metenaga son te vela para via senandia. Retene menevele. Mete quan sena. Ragua sietene mada. Retene tene susunomanata. I stay in hope. I shall go vele russo venega. Mete vela russo vele te avan vion saida. Mami o vele russa vila ti venete ka. I stay in hope. My expectation is pure. My expectation is alive. Resido vele te. Mete naga so sondo varam di eso vele ta. Legend rusko vele ta. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Another element to help you navigate the waiting season and and you know to make sure that you 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 do not fall away in the wilderness is joy so when you are in the waiting season you must keep your joy you must stay in joy he said it is by joy that we draw out of the wells of salvation so your salvation will come on the heels of your joy it is with joy that you receive the promises of god it is with joy that you your your faith is expressed to have so the enemy will want to come and take away your joy and take away your peace uh, so that your joy will not be your life uh, but this morning you are praying and saying lord uh, let joy continually radiate uh, because the good thing is that joy is not a fruit of circumstances uh, joy is not happiness can be a fruit of um, circumstances uh, but joy is the fruit of the holy ghost uh, joy is the fruit that the holy spirit bets in our lives uh, so whether things are going well or not uh, whether you are in the valley in the valley or on the mountain top uh, there is that that you can assess joy in the holy ghost uh, is a righteousness and um, peace and joy in the holy ghost um, these are the things that the kingdom of god consists of uh, this is how you enter you find expression in the kingdom of god um, this is how the kingdom of god uh, finds expression in your life um, by joy uh, can you say holy ghost that you may keep me in joy uh, regardless of the in-betweens of my life uh, i stay in joy uh, regardless of all, uh, regardless, uh, i make a decision by the holy ghost um, to keep my joy i keep my joy i radiate in joy in the name of jesus um, for the manifestation of the kingdom of god in your life uh, joy 
is, is necessary can you praise the lord my joy is intact my joy is intact everything the enemy is doing is so that he can steal your joy everything he's walking towards is to steal your joy but this morning we say no we say that our joy is intact it is with joy that the promise is made manifest in your life it is with joy that you enter that you enter that you assess with joy we stay in joy the manifestation of this six months of year 2023 they are fully expressed by joy we enter the full expression thereof every promise of god in the name of jesus concerning this last six months that have been earmarked for the last six months of year 2023 in the name of jesus i am heart of an we remain in joy and we assess all the promises of god in the name of Jesus. Oh, Shada Vadati Veneta Cabara Veleta. Retelenda Baracasi Veletombre Tobra Hagadia. Jeteni Vada Veleta. In the name of Jesus. There is a dimension of God's glory that He wants to be made manifest in your life in before the end of 2023. You know, I I I, I feel it so strongly in my spirit. Uh, there is something, there is something. I, I don't know if it's personal, but what god speaks to one you know others can assess it others can enter into it so when he speaks to one he speaks to all so personally i uh, i just i just have that 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 feeling in my spirit uh, that there is something massive that god wants to bet in my life so you need joy you need joy you need to remain in joy to be able to enter the fullness of the expressions of the spirit in your life even in this last six months of year 2023 so maintain your joy keep your hope alive keep your anticipation alive and and the word of God will be made manifest in your life. Finally, we are going to be praying the next one minute because one of the ways that the enemy would rob you, rob you off of the glory, rob you off of, of, the, of the manifestation. Because when when you are waiting, um, your hope, your your aim is to attain the promise, is to receive the promise. But the enemy would want to steal the promise away from you. So it does not matter how long you have waited. Um, so he keeps on planning, planning how to steal the promise from you. Um, so one of the ways he does that is through offenses. Um, is through offenses. So he would he will he will seek for people to offend you and he will seek to bring offense into your life and he will seek to bring bitterness into your life and so you are going to raise one more prayer and say lord keep my heart stable no matter the the the, the offense from men no matter who offends me my heart will not buy into the offense my heart will not it, 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 it will not be a ground for bitterness in the name of jesus i declare that by the holy ghost that my heart remains pure purity of heart is what gives you access to the promise of God. He said, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. You will see the manifestation of God. You will see the kingdom of God based on the purity of your heart. Can you say, Lord, let no root of bitterness take hold of my heart. In the name of Jesus, I so son of man, preserve my heart by the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, my heart will not hold any bitterness. My heart will not hold any grudges. My heart will not hold any offense in the name of Jesus. I attain the purity of heart. The Sony Kabaladi Retenegi Valatamia Retenia Sosovenata Meshanati Ososotea Merukompe Fadi.
and so have my heart oh spirit of grace oh supply grace certain men of God it is by grace that you can live the God life oh if the West sin abounds grace abounds even much more so there is no there is no kind or type or, or style of sin uh, grace cannot handle grace can handle bitterness so what you need in your heart when bitterness wants to take root in your heart is the grace of God for the grace of God has appeared unto all men teaching them so the grace of God instructs them you need that instruction of grace into righteousness can you say Lord supply grace in my heart supply grace in my heart that no offense will be able to take root no bitterness will be able to take root in my heart in my life in the name of Jesus Oh, Ziva, Tabaravia, Tacalambre, Rababa, Zezefeleton, Rogoton, Bredor.